This is an example of my top bar hive that is doing extremely exceptional thanks to a drunk like me who loves insects. Oh, kind of a septot entologist. Look at all these silly bees. They're all healthy. They're all on natural comb. They all have no chemicals. I do use a little peppermint and spearmint and different natural oil, lemongrass oil and that kind of stuff. These are healthy little freaking bees and kiddos. This is the way to raise bees like it's been done for millions of years in trees. If you want to help save the bees, quit using pesticides, turd heads. This is what it's all about. Now I would like to tell you another little trick that is extremely important. It can save your bees a lot of energy. Honey bees nesting in the wild choose nest sites close to water supplies. Beekeys must ensure that honey bees kept in hives have adequate water supplies available. The reasons are temperature and humidity control. Honey bee colonies must maintain their nest temperature around 35 centigrade. Young bees developing the brood nest need to be kept at the right temperature and humidity. If the temperature was allowed to arise without control, wax comb will melt and the colony will disintegrate into total chaos. Water must be carried into the nest and evaporating cooling like a condenser unit will keep the temperature down. If you provide water close to, and I'll show you how here in a second, I just use a simple bird bath. These bees don't have to work so hard. They don't have to go all the way down to the creek somewhere or to a damn dirty diaper on the highway and get something poison and all that crap. They, they got clean water and I'll show you that right now.